My name is Mikey Sagawa and I am the U.S. reporter for Earthshot TV. Today I'm coming to you from Austin, Texas, where we're talking to a company called Satoshi Energy. Satoshi Energy is connecting Bitcoin mining to renewable energy. My name is Andrew Myers and I'm the CEO of Satoshi Energy. The purpose of Satoshi Energy is to help the world access sustainable energy and sound money. Um, so sustainable energy means uh, an abundance of renewable power, solar power, wind power, batteries. Um, but when there's a surplus of that power, then you need something to do with it. And so what we do is we use that waste power to mine Bitcoin, and then Bitcoin provides sound money. So sound money has certain characteristics. Um, that help it hold value and, and spread around the world. And that's what, that's what Bitcoin provides. So it's, it's money backed by energy. Um, and so we help the world to have access to both. I had the idea for Satoshi Energy in 2014. I was living in San Francisco. Uh, my friends were teaching me about Bitcoin and why Bitcoin was important and how it works. And I had the seed of the idea at that time, which was that Bitcoin is digital money and it's a, it's a financial protocol that works 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And I'd been studying electric power markets, which are sort of one of a kind financial markets that work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And so I thought from a financial settlement perspective, there will be an opportunity to use Bitcoin in the power markets, um, continue to do software consulting over the next five or six years, and in uh, early 2019, really started full time to figure out what is Bitcoin mining? Um, where is Bitcoin mining going? And, and how can you build this type of settlement product? Um, so, you know, now we're helping Bitcoin miners to find energy and then building products on top of that to help settle those energy contracts. This is our, our first product, uh, which is our Market Insights platform. This is for finding the best place to put a Bitcoin mine based on low cost energy. Um, for operational projects, we have our Energy Manager platform where we're providing other data and analytics for the operating project. Um, but to get started, you really need to identify where's the lowest cost energy, uh, where do I buy power, um, and what does that power contract look like? So this product allows Bitcoin miners to find the locations on the grid with the lowest cost energy, uh, to view various data and metrics about that point on the grid, um, and then ultimately bid on a project to be able to purchase power at that location. So far, we have listed three projects on, on the platform. For context, that's about 500 megawatts of total power capacity, uh, which is equivalent to, say, the single biggest Bitcoin mining company in the world. So a single Bitcoin mining company might be currently be operating, you know, three or 400 megawatts, but we as a platform have already listed close to 500 megawatts. Um, this year, we expect to list about 10 more projects. Uh, so in a, a total of one gigawatt of projects, so about a thousand megawatts. Those will all be with the leading energy companies in the world. This is our Market Insights platform uh, built for the ERCOT power market, which is the Texas power market. Um, it's a unique power market. Um, it's sort of a, a very deregulated market that's very inviting for both renewable energy and for Bitcoin mining. Um, so what we've done is, you know, we've modeled on the ERCOT grid where to find uh, the cheapest energy and so then where, where a Bitcoin miner can go and operate. Um, so what we do is we work with the owner of a generation asset, for example, a wind farm, uh, maybe in West, West Texas. There's, there are many wind farms there where it's very windy. Um, and we work with them to develop the site and the power purchase agreement. Uh, and then we place that for, on our platform for Bitcoin miners to bid on. Hey, I'm Brock Peterson. I'm the COO of Satoshi Energy. I mean, when Andrew first reached out, I thought it was crazy. Uh, <laughs> right, I mean, Bitcoin, uh, you know, it's still gaining adoption, right? And at the time, I didn't have my head around that. And, I, and um, it sounded good from a kind of a technology standpoint that could work well with renewables. But I just thought, you know, it was small, it was nascent, you know, it's not going to grow big. And then you start digging into the numbers and you start realizing 
how big the network was even at that time. And it's, you know, doubled since then. And we're gonna continue to see that grow. So yeah, at first I just thought it was crazy, but then you start digging in, uh, you know, peeling back the onion, you start seeing all the cool opportunities. The core vision of Satoshi Energy is really to accelerate the adoption of Bitcoin in the energy industry. Um, so we really see the energy industry as being one of the first large industries to adopt Bitcoin, um, not only to, to use it as a store of value, but to also use it as a medium, medium of exchange and a unit of account. So really to use it as money. Um, so really what we're working towards even you know, within this year is to begin settling power contracts using Bitcoin. Um, and then apply that to many other power contracts, uh, you know, across the United States and across the different utilities uh, and ultimately across the globe. Yeah, so one of the cool parts about Texas is we have the ability that it's a deregulated market. So it allows anyone like I could go start a solar farm and I could build that here. Um, and what that really has allowed the market to do is you've seen a, a large penetration of renewables. A lot of people think of Texas as oil and gas, but it's also the leader in renewables in the United States. Um, and that's why we really come here to be able to piggyback off of that um, with some of the cheapest energy prices in the U.S., as well as uh, it has some of the most friendly regulations by having that deregulated market. So you're able to move much quicker, which is one of the key value props for the Bitcoin miners. Is, is the time value of money matters a lot to them. So having things go quicker is a big value prop. Today, we are very focused on US power markets for the abundance of energy, uh, the low cost of energy, the availability of land. But I think the bigger opportunity for, for a country like Japan, um, as Bitcoin adoption grows, as the energy companies start to adopt Bitcoin, uh, the bigger opportunity is really around uh, settling power contracts or settling utility bills. So you could imagine instead of paying your bill at the end of the month uh, in, in the yen, maybe you, you prepay a month of energy and then as your utility meter is reading your energy consumption, it's actually drawing down on your Bitcoin balance in real time.